Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKKA Tag and Terra back again with the newly buffed Elite Barbarians, and we're ready to rock and roll. We have so many ways of getting damage on our opponent's tower that we don't even need a big spell. We've got Elite Barbarians, Battle Ram, Bandit, Cannon Cart, and Magic Archer if you still can't break through. Almost every single one of the cards in this deck can do a lot of damage to towers. So let's go jump straight into some games, catch a whole bunch of opponents off guard, and assert some dominance with the newly buffed E-Barbs. And a huge shout out to all of you guys that are using credit code SIRTAG. All money made from credit code SIRTAG allows me to upload daily videos while I take full-time college courses. So thank you guys for supporting me and helping me grow the channel. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out of good luck, and we're going to see what's up. Definitely want to go for Magic Archer in the back in the exact same lane as the Barbarians. His name is Godzilla, but we are going to wreak havoc on his city of Barbarians and Barbutt. Sir, the tables have turned, and you are going to get twisted up soon. So I want to go for a Heal Spirit so we can keep our Magic Archer alive, please. Let's go. Full HP, too. Oh, come on, man. I thought it would stay alive, and then you're like, nope. How about them apples? How about I just decide to casually go in for a poison? When you think that you kept it alive, you will never keep it alive. He had to ruin everything that was good in the world. He truly is Godzilla. So, I'm going to go in for a bandit on the left, maybe. Actually, I need to match card share this. Because the cannon card's going to die. There's no way to keep that thing alive. We will clean up the barbarians. We'll clean up everything else. He doesn't have poison in cycle. He doesn't have a great way of destroying the Magic Archer at all. So what I can do is I can go in for one of these, where I go for Bandit and I go in... Uh, you know, I really wish I didn't drop the Battle Ram right into the bar, but, but if I go for a Heal Spirit, at least it can connect, right? I wish I went for a Battle Ram in the right, and then it would have maybe went towards the tower, and then I could have went in for the Bandit in the left. And that would have been a better outcome. But you know what? We got to work with what we get. Sometimes interactions don't go our way, but we always bounce back. Two barb hits, please. Let's go. We're vibing right now. So right now we figured out he's got minor poison with Barbutt. And that's just like crazy. I think that they shouldn't have nerfed Graveyard. I think they should have just nerfed Barbutt. It's everywhere. You see it in every deck and it is so strong on defense. But we can break through because Magic Archer is a great card. It's one of the best cards in the game. So you're going to go for Golem. That was not something that I was expecting, honestly. So I'm going to go for Battle Ram. I'll try to break through because you don't have enough Elixir for the Barbutt. We know that we can break through with the Battle Ram. And then the minions are going to get damaged down. So it's not going to be that big of an issue. Minions, we won't have to respond to. If you want to go Skeleton Barrel on the other side and go for a clone, be my guest. I'm just going to go for a Bar Barrel. Also, why do you... Yeah, I knew it was going to be clone because you had Skeleton Barrel with Golem. It just doesn't make sense to run anything else other than that. I just don't know why you got Minor Poison with it too. You just threw like five win conditions together, dude. You're crazy. You're wildin'. Anyway, barbs are coming down. I can follow up with a heal spirit. I think my magic archer might die. He's got arrows as well, but that's going to be a connection. You are trying to just pierce through all my units with arrows, but in reality, we pierce through your defenses, and sir, you have nothing left over. So I think that with 22 seconds remaining, he's going to go for a golem at the river. He has to do it. So all I have to do is hold the door with our barb in the other lane, and we're vibing. I'm going to go in for a Magic Archer. He's going to go for a clone. I just want to clap the Skeleton Barrels and then go for a Barb Barrel afterward. We clean up. House is in order. And clean up on Isle of 12 went fully to fruition. GG. Well played and peace out, brother. It was a pleasure playing against you. Crazy deck, and that was a lot of fun. We terrorized Godzilla City. So we got a game here. We're going to sauce out a good luck, and we're going to see what's up. What's happening, man? If we're able to go in for a Battle Ram or a Cannon Cart in the back, that's what we like doing as soon as we see something in the opposite lane. But yeah, he's really not dropping anything of substance. He's splitting his Skeleton Dragons. So there is equal opportunity on both sides, and there is no opportunity at the same time. So I'm going to go in for a Bandit, and I want to be... Oh my gosh! What? Did he expect the Magic Archer to walk up? That was not a prediction on my end, but the Bandit caught the Mire. <laughs> We'll call it a prediction, okay, guys? So I'm going to go in for a battle ram in the left because he just used Barbarians and he doesn't have Goblin Cage in Cycle. This is our moment to shine. We need some divine damage. So battle ram is pencil trading through. We can also go in for a Heal Spirit to heal everything up. Finish off. No, wow. Heal Spirit's damage is so much worse than it used to be. It didn't splash on top of the Goblin Cage Brawler. So in effect, he gets some extra damage in the right-hand side and the left with the Mega Minion Swipe, but not too bad. Only one hit, and we're currently up 1,400 damage. What a crazy start to the game. He's going to have Goblin Cage, and he's going to have Barbs, and I have no Fireball, so it's going to be really difficult for me to break through this. The way that we got to play is we got to use our Bandit to the best of our ability every single time. 
I'm going to also go in for a battle ram so then the magic archer is going to stay alive. If he wants to go in for any spam on top of our magic archer, we got to protect it like a sacred shrine. You save me. Nothing is coming near us. That is our pride and joy. We are not going to have our quarterback sacked today. We need to throw a touchdown Hail Mary pass. So unfortunately, we know for a fact that he is just going to be able to destroy us with a cycle of barbs. So I could cannon cart, but then I have to respond to the barbs. Oh my gosh, he's going to go into us. It's going to be a certified savage. So I'm going to go for a heal spirit here. Maybe the barb barrel and the heal spirit keep the hunter alive long enough. Oh, this is really not good. Maybe we can go for another magic archer. He's going to start to spam me some more. We can go for a hunter on top of that. That's actually really good. He overcommitted. He messed up. And the hunter is going to take the precedence from the fly machine. The magic archer stays alive. I can go for a battle ram right now. This is working out really well. And this matchup is terrible for me too. If only the battle ram. Yes, it actually goes towards the tower. I was not even able to finish my sentence there. I was like, if only the battle ram would just go towards the tower and allow me to win a game that I should never win. So I'm going to go in for another Magic Archer. I want to follow up with a Bar Barrel and then go in for a Hunter. So if we go for a Hunter on top of the Fly Machine, then we're vibing. We shut it all down and we're in a good spot. With 15 seconds remaining, we will hold the door and somehow, someway, we found victory in a hopeless place. He's going to go in for the most desperate Lava Hound in 2020, but I can't blame him. I admire the resolve. Even when the game's over, continuously dropping cards, still wanting to win, that is the heart of a champion. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. Good luck in the rest of your grand challenge. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're gonna sauce out of good luck, and we're gonna see what's up. Definitely wanna go for a battle rim with my tennis ball and get an early connection here. If we can heal up the battle rim, then we're vibing. I can't go in for the magic archer. That would be too frisky and feisty for my taste. So maybe we can go for a spicy magic archer in the back, though. And you know, that's a little bit more moderate. It's like a chili pepper. It's not a ghost pepper, guys. We don't go full fiery here. So we're going to go in for an Executioner in the back. When we see Executioner and we see Valkyrie, you know it's going to be the Hog Rider Rocket deck most likely. And that's not easy to play against. That's actually a pretty bad matchup. Uh, for all intents and purposes, when you play against a Hog Rider deck and they've got excessive defenses to your Bridge Spam and you're running a Bridge Spam deck, it's hard to defend against the Hog Rider fully. So he'll get a hit every single time. And we need to break through a Valkyrie Executioner somehow, some way. He's going to log... And that means I can go in for a battle rim and I can follow up with a heal spirit. Anything that he drops right now at the river goes right into the cannon cart. So he doesn't want to do that. He's going to drop an executioner super far back and he's going to go in for a tornado. I like that play. He's playing so cautious though. He's scaring me right now. Can we walk away with the W in this insanely bad matchup? So I'm going to go in for a cannon cart here. I wonder if the executioner is going to kill the cannon cart. I hope not, but I think it will. There's no point in dropping a bar barrel because I can't keep the cannon card alive. So if I did that, it would be futile. Resistance is futile and we do not waste elixir. It's a cardinal sin in our religion. You waste elixir, it is actually imprinted in our Bible not to do that as one of the commandments. So I'm gonna go in for a magic archer in the left and maybe we can go E-Barbs on top of the next hog rider, but it's gonna Valkyrie. It's gonna have Executioner and Cycle. So I really wanna go E-Barbs at the river here. It's not necessarily the best play, but it is the play that we're doing. So I can also go Hunter at the river just to win the battle against the Valkyrie. Clean it up real quick. It's going to go Goblins. I wonder if he's going to drop anything else. Or is the e we're going to connect? Don't Tornado. Oh, oh that hurt. I, I, don't have, I don't have words to describe how much that hurt me. But it hurt me a lot. So <laughs> I'm going to go in for more spam. But this, this is not looking good, guys. I have to say this is not the way that we want to play. I'm going to go in for a Hunter here. I think the Valkyrie goes straight towards the Magic Archer for the first pit. And we do shut it down, but... Oh, it's so much damage! Okay, so I'm going to try to get away with another Cannon Card here. Oh, he could have Rocket. This could be the worst play I've done in 2020. Or maybe it's the best play. If he Rockets and he doesn't have Elixir for the Valkyrie. Maybe maybe it's the best play. Maybe he doesn't have Elixir for the Valkyrie. Was that the best play I've done, guys? Is that actually a good play? It might have been really good. If we're able to get a Magic Archer connection with, with the Valkyrie, then we're vibing. Oh, he's going to tornado me, though. I think that was actually a good play because I had to do something crazy, right? What else am I supposed to do? I was like, I need to do something. <laughs> I just can't sit back and watch as the game is just falling apart before my very eyes. We can go in for E-Barbs again on the right. He's not going to hog rider into me. He's going to go in for a log. That means he doesn't have anything for the heal spirit. He's going to ice spirit as well. We can keep the E-Barbs alive. We're going to go follow up with a bandit. We need to destroy the Valkyrie. But I think that anything that we drop is just going to get pulled. I'm going to go in for a Hunter. I think that the Hunter kills the Hog Rider. Please don't nope. get a hit. Oh, 420 HP. 
And not the time you want to see it, guys. That's going to be Tower. GG, well played and peace out. We got to go chill, vibe on to the next game, and we'll probably get a better matchup there. Very well played from this guy. It was impressive that he activated King Tower with that e barb early on, and it just went downhill from that point. GG and well played, we'll bounce back in the next one. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out a good luck, and we're going to see what's up. As soon as we see Princess right out of the gate, we know that this man is not messing around. We're going to lock on with our Magic Archer and magically find ourselves in a better spot than you, sir. Because we're able to pierce through your princess and still get ship damage on your tower. Unfortunately for us, we know that it's going to be a log bait deck. And he could try to bamboozle my barb barrel, but we know what you're going to do. We know all the tricks of the trade. Wait, what is this anymore? Wait, this is not fair. You're going to have Valkyrie and you're going to have Knight. Those are two phenomenal counters to bridge spam. This is a really interesting deck. This is excessively weird for me. And he's going to e barbs. He's going to go all in. Oh, no. Can I defend this? Is this possible for me to defend? Or am I toast? I think if we can go for a Hunter and pull his e barbs back and just take them on a merry-go-round where they never get to the tower, they literally went sideways like a yo-yo. They were bouncing back and forth. <laughs> that was ridiculous. He went all in and he tried to find damage on our tower, but our defenses with Hunter and Cannon Cart allowed us to resolve and stay strong. His defenses are definitely better than ours because he's literally got Valkyrie Ice Wizard with Knight. However, you know, our deck has better offensive capabilities. We can get Magic Archers on top of your tower. You can maybe go for Princesses here and there, but you need a connection with the Princess and nothing in its way. We can pierce through your units with the Magic Archer and that's why we love it. So I'm gonna go in for a Cannon Card again. Shut down your Valkyrie. You're probably gonna E-Barbs on me. You are a cultured sir running the newly buffed and newly minted E-Barbs. So it makes sense. You're gonna E-Barbs on me, but we can use our defensive structure here. E-Barbs are plus rage. What's stronger? A tower plus E-Barb's rage or just, you know, an E-Barb's by themselves? Looks like our E-Barb's stood strong and they withstood the test of time and we took out the tower on the right with the cannon card. So we're going to win this game. And there's not too much to worry about it. We want it. We're going to walk on to the next one and hopefully we can assert dominance. 12 seconds later. Looks like this guy actually quit. So you know what? We made a rage quit. I'm sorry, sir. This deck, when it breaks through, it breaks people's phones too. GG, well played and peace out. So we got a game against Tony. We're going to sauce out a good luck and we're going to see what's up. Definitely want to go in for a battle rim in the left. Not in the same lane as your spam, sir. You're going to go in for a ram rider and a bomber. That's so interesting. I haven't seen that in ages. Why is that going to kill my hunter that quick? What? Oh my goodness. So you've got Valkyrie. You've got bomber. And you somehow destroyed my hunter before it was able to destroy your ram rider i never knew that interaction but apparently this guy did it was all calculated it worked out really well for him so at this point we figured out that he's gonna have valkyrie bomber and tornado if i saw the bomber and tornado i would immediately think it's golem but he already showed his win condition tony i don't know what you're doing but your deck is extremely scary for me it just got spookier with the giant skeleton too so the way i want to play this is if we can go in for a E-Barbs on top of the Giant Skeleton and drop it behind it, then it doesn't walk into the Death Bomb. It runs away, and it gets away from that explosion real quick. Oh, that hurts my feelings. If your opponent's going to have Pekka, and they're going to have Giant Skeleton, and they're just going to keep spamming you, you know that you need to be able to defend the Bomber. Oh, so I'm going to go for a Barb Barrel here off to the side, but I don't want to pull back the Pekka. I think we pull back the Pekka. I said what I didn't want to happen, and then Clash Trial's like, let's make it happen. And unfortunately, we are going to take a ton of damage from that pack on our Hunter, and he's not staying alive any longer. So, at this point in the game, it is a really dilapidated state for our tower, but we need to bounce back, guys. We need to be jumping on that bouncy pit, and we need to soar off to the skies. Our aspirations are here, and I don't want them to fall. So... What are we going to do? E-Barbs at the river are probably just going to get shut down by a Valkyrie or something along those lines. If you want to go in for a Giant Skeleton, that's a pretty good Elixir trade for me, so we'll take it. And you dropped it really close to your tower, so if the E-Barbs were able to kill it, yes, they do! Okay, so I didn't know that interaction. I was like, then I don't even have to drop anything in the right-hand lane, and that's way better for me. So I can Cannon Cart now. He's going to go in for a P.E.K.K.A. We can get a Magic Archer connection! He didn't know! And if you don't know, now you know! So we don't actually have any way of getting damage besides Magic Archer. And fortunately for us, it worked out brilliantly for me. So I'm going to go in for a Hunter here. He doesn't have Bomber to destroy it anymore. The Bomber actually gets wrecked on the left-hand lane. And we can go in for a Cannon Cart to go and pull back the Valkyrie. Target the Bomber first. And I just need one Magic Archer hit, please. Please, Magic Archer. 
Let me win the game. Put him to shame. Let's go. Magic Archer was potty trained. He actually hit his target. Let's go. So we can go in for another hunter go pull. I need to make sure that we destroy the bomber though. So I'm going to go for E-Barbs. This game is so dicey. I can't believe he came up with this deck and I'm so glad that we won. At the start, it was one of the most shocking moments of 2020 for me when he decided, you know what? Let's go for Ram Rider and Bomber. And I thought my Hunter was going to clean up the Ram Rider, but nope, not today. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out of good luck and we're going to see what's up. I need to go in for the tennis ball to kick open the game and get some early chip damage. What are you going to have, my dude? You're going to have a really interesting Lumberjack right out of the gate. The Dark Lord is spamming upon us. He will drop every single Bridge Spam unit that he has into our Bridge Spam deck. Feed the bridge spam, make us stronger. Let us engage in cannibalism, sir. So unfortunately, he does actually have a pretty good answer to us if he's got Lumberjack and Skarmie in cycle. Cause if he goes in for a Skarmie, we have to preemptively drop a bar barrel and that's never reliable. So I'm gonna go for a Hunter right on top of the Inferno Dragon, destroy that as quickly as possible and get counter push. A little bit of sizzle love on my Hunter, but you know we're vibing with it. You already know. So he's going to have Valkyrie, Skarmie, and Lumberjack. An excessive amount of defensive cards in the ground. What do you have for air answers, dude? Like, I've only seen Inferno Dragon. How do you play against Lava Hound with this? So fortunately for us, we did get a lot of damage early on, and we did bait out a really good interaction as well. When we kite units to the opposite lane, and we're also able to defend, so we're doing damage with our Battle Ram, and we defend. Two birds with one stone, we get an excessive amount of elixir from him in that way. So let's say he's dropping eight elixir with a Valkyrie and he goes in for a defensive structure with a Lumberjack. He's dropping eight elixir, I'm only dropping four. We take those trades all day, every day. However, we just net a massive elixir trade on the defense end when he goes in for the Skeleton Army and the Inferno Dragon. So sir, stop just playing with my feelings. Let me have a real game here. I wanna be able to break through the Skarmie and the Valkyrie, but I don't know if I can. So he'll probably Valkyrie here, and then he'll have Lumberjack and Cycle for the Battle Ram. So that's what I'm expecting. I can do this again. Oh, okay. It was going to go for Royal Ghost. Over I don't. Here. Okay, we do pull the Royal Ghost. That was a little bit spooky, guys. I was like, are we going to pull the Royal Ghost or nah? He's going to minor on defense because he has a bad card cycle. And the Battle Ram connects again. Pencil Tration in its prime sense, my dudes. So I'm going to go for E-Barbs. He's going to ban it again into us. We can follow it up with a Barb Barrel. And he's going to arrow me. He's really trying to just pierce me like Cupid, man. That's not happening. You're not going to be able to infatuate me here. It's not Valentine's Day. Single and loving it. You got to get out of here. So I'm thinking if I go in for a Battle Ram in the back and he goes in for a Skeleton Army, maybe we can make a prediction. And that will be a vibe. So I'll go in for like a Magic Archer. And then I'll also drop a Barb Barrel here on the Skeleton Army. Is he not dropping the Skeleton Army? So yeah, that's the issue that you guys just saw, right? I got to make a Barb Barrel predict, but the Barb Barrel never extends as far as we want. We're like that T-Rex, and our arms never reach that long. So unfortunately, we do not take the tower straight up there, and that's our huge issue. However, if we're able to defend successfully, then we can rattle off an awesome offense. So that's what we're going to work with here. I'm going to go in for another cycle. I'm going to go and drop Arcana card on defense. Clean up the Miner. Clean up the Lumberjack. Even if you rage, we're going to make you rage harder. We're going to make you rage real hard with these E-Barbs. Because we don't have them. They need to break through. We need to get the rage that we don't have as a card. <laughs> GG, well played and peace out, brother. Pleasure playing against you. We sent the Dark Lord to the Shadow Realm.